And we are back, folks, here on the Michigan Insider Sports Talk 1050 WTKA online at WTKA.com. Sam Webb, Ira Weintraub, we got Matt the Miz Misler back in the studio, and we are on location at the Swing to Cure Diabetes Golf Outing at the University of Michigan Golf Course. And one of the great things about the event these days is it also is an NIL event for uh, current members of the football team to come over and participate and meet and greet and connect uh, with their Michigan brethren and other participants in the golf outing. And two such Michigan football players are with us this morning, starting off first with a familiar face for those of you who are going to watch this and familiar voice for those of you who have heard him on these airways before. But Cornelius Johnson, CJ, how you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, I just, man. Uh, I just seen someone walking with a Spartan sweatshirt on. Oh, yeah, that seems <laughs> kind of out of place. Him. That seems kind of yeah. out of place, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a little crazy, but yeah. I'm doing good this morning. Okay. Thanks for having me. And then for the first time, uh, you know, kind of the introduction to at least our listeners, but not to, to fans who watch it spring game. Jack Tuttle, how are you? Good. How are you? Appreciate you for having us on. Hey, man, thanks for, for joining us. Let's just start with you, Jack, and, you know, talk about your decision to come to the University of Michigan and what led you to it. Yeah, so talked about it a little before and uh, kind of spring interviews, but Coach Hart uh, was in the transfer portal, had, a, had some conversations with him and um, ultim ultimately felt like it was the best thing for my future, you know what I mean, and came here and met the guys great guys like six right here um and such a good team such such good people and um you know with with that i i came here and i was like you know i got one thing in, in my head right now and that's to do everything i can to help this team win a national championship and uh, so that's all we've been doing we've been um busting our asses and uh doing every single thing we can every single day of the week to get to where we want to go and uh super proud of this the, the body of work we have so far, and we just got to keep going. Yeah, no doubt. And you got a chance to – or you're getting a chance to experience the brotherhood, man. So you yeah. come back to an event like this, you see all of the the yeah. guys who played 40 years ago as teammates are coming back to together with one another. Yeah. What's that been like for you? It's been really cool. <laughs> Six and I have been uh, <laughs> asking quite a bit of questions. Uh, just what was it like, you know, back then, fall camp and – um, you know, just the facilities, everything like that. And we've been uh, just connecting and, you know, bonding over that and <laughs> just the schedules and uh, good times and the brotherhood made over uh, the workouts and all that stuff. So it's been really fun. Yeah. So, so CJ, I'm curious, man, uh, you know, because you, I mean, you've, you've been a part of the climb, right? Uh, and you guys, back-to-back -back Big Ten champions, you've destroyed Ohio State, you've been in the playoff. But you, you still aren't where you need to be, or where you want to be, I should say. Is the grind any different when you, you're almost there, you fall short? I mean, is there anything different about the preparation this, this offseason compared to the last that you can identify um, so far? That's a good question. I mean, sort of like Jack was saying earlier, like just trying to come together as a team and then like find ways to you know, get to that national championship uh, next step after the conference championship but i wouldn't say it's changed too much in the approach like you're still trying to take it uh day by day and like have that same strategy but then as you go on you do uh, eventually have new goals and stuff see coach just walked in hbc mm -hmm. um, but yeah not nah, like we for example like over may over the may discretionary break when we're like sort of off campus um you know i was doing a little bit of traveling around the country a little bit nothing crazy but I happened to be in San Diego for uh, my brother's graduation. And then Jack, you know, that's his hometown sort of area. And, like, we just sort of were able to link up there and get some routes in, hit some random high school field. We had to, like, hop a fence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we were supposed to be there, but we somehow, like, jumped over a fence and climbed in there somehow and uh, was able to get some work in, got some running in. And that was all the way out west in California. So, like, that just shows you, like, you know, we're, we're just trying to find work wherever we are, you know, trying to connect with each other and uh, keep that connection strong, like, no matter where we are. Yeah, I know the focus is on the group, like, uh, as where, whether it's the team or the receiver room, but I don't think it's being too forward to say that you're the guy. And so it, it's, I mean, like, Ronnie was the guy last year, right? That's you now. So when you step into those shoes, does that change anything for you as far as, you know, how you talk to your teammates, or as far as how you prepare? What, if anything, changes being the guy in the room now? I mean, as I get older, like, coming into my final season you know you kind of like eventually uh 
you know, coming to more of like a leadership role. And then as that goes on, you know, you sort of can lead by example and then start picking up some of the young guys. Like for me personally, I wouldn't necessarily be like maybe the loudest guy in the room, like not really giving all these speeches. But what I will do is I'll like pull some of the young guys aside you know, try and get them right, maybe stay, stay after practice, make sure they know all the route concepts, mm-hmm. get some extra catches in, and, like, maybe, like, nitpicking here and there, making sure I'm close to all the guys on the uh, receiving room and, uh, you know, making, taking some guys aside and trying to build those relationships with them. So then when it comes together and we all as a team, you know, we got confidence in each other to, that we're able to take care of our jobs, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, Jack, as you kind of got in through it, you, you're still in the transition phase, right? So. What, if anything, has been the, the toughest part of the transition for you stepping into these shoes as a quarterback at Michigan? Um, you know, as a kind of quarterback, transfers really like anywhere. It's it's getting to know your teammates is the, is the, is the biggest thing. And, and it's not something you dread, right? It's a great bonding experience, like making good friends, best friends, brothers for the rest of your life. And I think that just takes time. And that's um, one of the biggest things when somebody leaves a team and goes to another team is getting to know and, and bonding. And that's been great so far, like I said. Made some really good friends, brothers. and um, So that's, a, that's, that's one thing. And then I guess another thing is also just playbook. And, um, and that also takes time and, uh, and type of offense. So that's been phenomenal as well, Coach Kirk and – and Josh Synagoga and all those guys, they've helped me so much. Um, and uh, we're going to keep on going. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been awesome. Yeah, I know you got a scoop, but I, you, you mentioned Kirk Campbell. I, I mean, you know, we are getting to know Kirk now as he's stepping into his role as a quarterback's coach. He's, he's coaching you. Tell us about him, his influence, yeah. what he's like to, 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 co- yeah. to play for. Tell me about that. You know, Coach Kirk, is a very, he's a very positive guy. Um, lots of energy, uh, which is what you want, and uh, very detailed, very, very detailed. Um, and he, there's always an answer to every problem or every question, and he gives us, um, I guess, he gives us the answer sheet, if you will, to everything we need. And um, he's been doing such a great job uh, with the QB room. We've all gotten so much better. Um, we're looking forward to see seeing how, how much we can grow this summer and, and going into the season. But, yeah, he's great. Yeah, and last one before you go, tell us about what you know about this guy. You worked out <laughs> with him in California. You worked out with him in the spring. Tell us what kind of – how he looked to you in the spring as you played with him for the first time. Man, uh, Six is probably one of the best football players that I played with, and he's still growing and improving. Um, you know, I'm, in spring, you see, you see him one-on-one dang near – with the corner and the safety with him, you've got to throw him the ball. Like, so it's it's uh, extremely exciting to see where he's going to go and what he's going to do this season. So we just got to keep our head down and stay yeah, grinding sure. this summer for sure. But, um, yeah, man, what a guy. What a guy for sure and a football player. So it's rare to see that and definitely see that with him. So Thank you. All right, well, Jack, thanks a lot for your time, man. I know no you got to go. Thank you so much. Appreciate I appreciate it. it.